I love the kinesthetic sensation of movement. For me, dance is a way to express humanity. And that's why I've been drawn to Sokolo um, and her work. And that we see ourselves in the dance and in the dancers. And that we are given emotional and kinesthetic insight into our own selves with these great masterpieces. On this program, we have uh, The Lovers, which um, in her later life, Sokolo made a few homages to artists that she really respected, um, some that she knew, like Frida Kahlo and Kurt Weill, but uh, she was fascinated by Magritte, and she made a whole 50-minute dance based on the paintings of uh, René Magritte, and The Lovers is the um, excerpt we're doing, and partially because it's one of my favorite dances, and um, but partially because you know, the, uh, the painting of the lovers, their faces are covered with scarves. And after um, two years of pandemic and not seeing one another and craving touch, I really see the piece differently and um, than I did before. Um, and I thought we all could use that um, particular moment of Sokolo um, in our new understanding of what being covered and craving touch means. We're dancing Balad, which is just exuberant joy and relationships between the dancers. Um, we call it restless love, or um, but it's a it's a joyous, dancey dance. And the third piece we're doing are excerpts from scenes from the music of Charles Ives, another artist she played homage to, the pond in the cage, and the unanswered question. And those have a very different dramatic, um, emotional tug for us. And um, we also invited Clarence Brooks, who's a guest artist, um, uh, who, um, aside from having danced with Sokolo, among others, does Tally Beatty's Mourner's Bench beautifully. And um, he was able to join us to be on the concert as well. <laughs>